everyone, my name is Tiffany and this is my channel, Who's Your Handmade? Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today's video is another episode of Hashtag Friday Sews. If that sounds interesting to you, stick around. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope that you will consider subscribing before you leave. I would love to get to know you better and welcome you into the sewing community. And as always, thank you so much to each one of my friends who keep showing up video after video. Thank you for your support and your kind and above all for your friendship. It means so very much to me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of content and leave a comment down below. I would love to catch up on your sewing week. What are your sewing plans? I love chatting with you all down below in the comment section. Your comments literally make my week. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to leave those down below. So I have had an amazing eclipse weekend. <laughs> so here in uh, Southern Indiana, the eclipse was the big weekend topic and I'll talk more about that in the live portion and put some footage at the end of today's video. But the big theme was to just stay home and kind of hide from the crowds that were supposed to come in. <laughs> I think the projections for the crowds were a little bit overhyped. However, I had an amazing weekend at home. We went nowhere. We just stayed at home together as a family and I sewed all weekend long. So this is a hashtag Friday Sews video. I would love to catch up with you on your sewing week and I'm going to catch you up on mine as well. And boy, has there been sewing happening. I can't show you everything. I'm doing a little bit of a, a surprise collaboration at the end of the month. So I have been sewing a little bit on that. But y'all, I made the cutest outfit for Addie this weekend and she is absolutely obsessed with it. Let's get right into the sewing. I think I forgot to mention what I'm wearing. It's just a ready to wear top. So let's get right into this pattern. I'm so excited to share this make with you. It is absolutely adorable. So I took this, what's the proper term? Vintage, retro. I know there's certain years that fit into each of those categories. I'm not real sure what this one is. This is a 1997 quick sew pattern. And let me just say that this pattern was so neat. This is quick sew 2596. I wish I had a million of these quick sew patterns. It was so much fun to put together. Let me show you what the pattern paper looks like. It is a very kind of unique paper quite a bit sturdier than the tissue paper they use in big four patterns now very easy to use full color so you can see the different colored lines on this pattern on these pattern pieces just amazing i loved using this pattern so so much the directions were really great they all made sense i would go so far as to say that these quick sew patterns were the precursor to indie patterns. The instructions are great, they make sense, they don't give you unnecessary steps, the pattern pieces are great with easily recognizable lines like I just showed you. So I feel like I hit the jackpot with this pattern. So on this pattern I made view be there for Addie. I went ahead and made the shorts uh, version instead of the longer leggings. Back in February I had planned to try those leggings but I went for the shorts and I'm so glad that I did. This is such a cute little look on my little girl Addie. So the first part I'll show you here are the shorts. These are a perfect little short for Addie. I tell y'all, I'm going to be making these again and again this summer. I love this longer length. If you've been out and about in the stores, in Walmart or Kohl's, and you've noticed where the little girl shorts land, they're like this short. And I am just not loving that look on my daughter. So I love these longer ones. They hit her a little bit above the knee, but they're great, easy to wear. She loves wearing them. She actually loves wearing this entire outfit. I've had to pry it out of her hands. <laughs> 
it's ready to be put into the wash. And actually, I haven't even finished the back of these shorts yet, tacking down that waistband because she wanted to wear them so much. So really, really cute, very simple construction for these shorts. And I will definitely be making more of these for her this summer. Now, if we move on to my favorite part of this outfit, it is this darling tunic. Now, it looks long. I know it looks like it could be a dress for her, but it would be way too short as a dress. It's definitely a tunic. I just love this little cowl. Let's just go right into the applique, okay? <laughs> so there is that little uh, $2.99 Hobby Lobby applique find. Let me see if I have the packaging. This is the packaging for it. You can see it cost me all of $2.99. It might have even been on sale. I don't know if they run sales. Give you the instructions for how to put it on right there on the back. So, so cute. So I put the cow on there with my iron. And then let me see if I can move it closer. If you can see the stitches, I went around the cow, the entire cow with a longer stitch. I think I did about a 3.0 straight stitch just to make sure that it stays on there during washes. Now it felt really, um, really well adhesed to the fabric. I didn't feel like it was coming off um, because of the ironing process, but I did wanna make sure that it didn't come off in the wash. So I went around it with a straight stitch, went with this beautiful cotton fabric, cotton knit fabric that my dear friend Kathy gifted to me. I love this fabric. She loves wearing it. It's very cool. It's gonna be great for summer wear. And then I went with the matching sleeves for the shorts. So these are definitely meant to be like a set. I went with matching uh, sleeves for that and then the neckband just came together so easily. I loved sewing this. It was so much fun. And Addie June is absolutely obsessed with her cowgirl outfit. That's what she's calling it. So I think that is so, so cute. I'll be looking for more of these appliques in Hobby Lobby. I think they're just so much fun. They add a little bit extra to my daughter's outfits and she just loves them so very much. So that was such a win for the weekend. Like I said, I had so much fun with that outfit. Putting on the applique and doing the color blocking and then those shorts turned out so perfect. So I was on cloud nine. So I kept rolling with my sewing and I wanted to give this pattern a try for Josh. This is the Made for Mermaids men's gable boxer pattern. I wanted to try underwear for my husband so I made his size the pattern was very straightforward, very few pattern pieces, goes together really well. The fitting is what's going to really need a lot of work. Um, they did not fit him really at all. It was, it was kind of discouraging after the win of the cow outfit. <laughs> to have such a fail with the twall of those, of the underwear pattern. So I'm not real sure, I've set, it si I've set it aside for now. It's not necessary to my Disney plans, obviously. Um, so I'm gonna think about it and try to figure out how I can make adjustments. Nearly every portion of the pattern needs to be adjusted in some way which is not ideal. So I will definitely be putting that aside and just working on it when I want to pick it up again. And then like I said, I've been doing some secret sewing. So I've got a collaboration coming up at the end of the month and I reached for some precious fabric this weekend. I actually got into it, taken a chance. I did make a toile version of the bodice of whatever I'm making <laughs> and it did turn out good in the toile fabric. So I've cut up my beautiful fabric and I hope it's going to work out. I'm really excited about that. So I'll be looking forward to sharing that with you soon. I've also purchased a few new patterns and I'm gonna wait to show you all of them kind of like in one haul video, but this one I'm already attacking. I've already printed it out and traced off Addie's size. 
This is the Peekaboo Patterns Girls Raglan Dress. This is a brand new pattern for Peekaboo Patterns. And spoiler alert, a women's version is coming. <laughs> They're in testing right now. She was calling for testers um, there in her Facebook group. So I am really looking forward to that. This is a beautiful pattern. There's so many sleeve options and two different skirt options. There's a circle skirt or a gathered skirt. So this dress, this pattern, I'm labeling it the Disney dress pattern because I think that I'm going to be using this pattern for a lot of Addie's little Disney dresses that are just kind of Disney themed and not necessarily a costume. So I went ahead and cut out Addie's size. I have some Disney fabric that I've already cut out for her and I'm going to see how that little dress turns out. I've also been ordering a few fabrics here in my buying month pretty much for our Disney trip. I met one of them came in the mail this week and it was a little bit disappointing. So I'm gonna be sharing that with you all. I've ordered another fabric from another company to kind of compare those two. I'll let you know. <laughs> we'll talk about that in another video. So are you tired of hearing about the Hobby Lobby 99 cent new look pattern sale yet? <laughs> Seems like everybody's talking about it. Everybody's going to their Hobby Lobby to see if they're participating. My dear friend Liz texted me this week and said that my or our local Hobby Lobby is participating in that. So I'm recording this on Thursday. So I'm hoping to go Thursday night here um, and see if there's any new look patterns available still. My question is, are all of the patterns being phased out at Hobby Lobby? When I heard about the initial new look pattern sale, I thought to myself, well, why aren't they doing that with all of their patterns? Hobby Lobby does not do pattern sales anymore, and I cannot imagine that they're getting that much traffic um, and that much buying of their patterns. It's still $20 a pattern. I'm sure there's the odd person who's not aware of like Joanne sales or needs a pattern and wants to buy it for the $20, but for the most part, the sewing community in the US sticks to the pattern sales um, from Joanne. So I can't imagine that Hobby Lobby is doing that great with any of their patterns, not just new look. So my mission tonight is to go and talk to some Hobby Lobby personnel about the rest of the patterns, the Simplicity and the McCall and whatever else they have in their pattern drawers. I would like to know what Hobby Lobby's plans are. I really hope their fabric is here to stay. My Hobby Lobby has a really good fabric section. They do a great job with ordering in the spring and the summer and winter fabrics. And I really enjoy buying from them. I've made a lot of my garments from Hobby Lobby fabric. I like it. It works for me. It's in a great price point for me, especially with the 40% off sales. So <laughs> I'm going to go do some investigating tonight at Hobby Lobby. Let me know down below if you've participated in this new look craze sale. <laughs> Everybody is participating, it seems like. Let me know down below if you scored any great patterns from new look that I need to look at. I do like new look designs. I think they're very beautiful. I've said this before but they're not very size inclusive. Um, probably hardly any of them would be in my sizing. Now they do make children's patterns, so I'm excited to see if there's some left for Addie. Um, but yeah, I wish they would extend their sizing. I did receive some wonderful happy mail this week that just, just lifted my spirits and made my week. Thank you so much to Sylvia. Sylvia sent me a sweet note here and then she sent me some beautiful patterns for my little girl Addie. She said she had bought these for her granddaughter and wanted to move them on to me and thank you. Thank you so much Sylvia for thinking of me. These are darling Ellie Mae patterns. I think all of them, yeah, all of them are Ellie Mae, which is a company under Quick Sew, I believe. So I'm gonna love these, Sylvia. After my wonderful success with that Quick Sew pattern, this is a really cute one. This is Ellie Mae K190. Really darling little dresses. I love the wrap style a dress there. Isn't that cute? Really cute pattern. The next one is 
uh, Ellie Mae K143, really beautiful little sundresses. Look at the pockets. The pockets are so cute. And then this one is Ellie Mae K156, another beautiful little dress with great details. I just love those. Love these patterns so much. And then I love the ruffles on this one. This is Ellie Mae K193. Look at these ruffles. Let me show you the line drawing so you can actually experience them. <laughs> I love those ruffles so much. And then Sylvia also spoiled my little girl with some really wonderful stickers. Sylvia, you made Addie's day. I cannot tell you thank you enough. Thank you so much for spoiling her. I'm going to put a little picture up here of her with her stickers. She was so excited to get those and use them immediately. She adores stickers. So thank you so much, Sylvia. I also received a lovely Easter card from Nellie. Thank you so much, Nellie. This was a beautiful Easter card with a beautiful message inside. She reminded me that Christmas is not the only season for sending cards. And I loved that. I loved that so much. This bright to my day, Nellie. Thank you so much for such a dear card and for thinking of me. That was so, so sweet. And then on to life. So we did have the big eclipse on Monday. That was such a historic day. I'm so glad that I got to experience it in my lifetime. It was really, really cool. I don't think I realized how neat it was going to be. <laughs> of course, I purchased the glasses um, and Josh and I sat outside and watched it. So I'm going to put some footage at the end. Please excuse my non-professional camera abilities. I did not get any great photos with my phone. Um, what I was really obsessed with was the darkness, how it, how it got dark and the temperature changed. It got really cold, actually. It was a nice, beautiful, warm day um, here on Monday. It was like a high of 75. But when we went out there and it, we hit the totality portion, it got really cold. So that was really interesting. It was like dusk. It never got pitch black like deepest night, but it did get kind of like dusk evening look. Just really cool. Very, very cool. If you have the chance to go see that one day, um, definitely take advantage of it. It's so cool to see in your lifetime. So at the end of the video, I will pop up pictures and a little video of the eclipse portion and pictures of Addie June in her darling little cow outfit. Okay, I think that's going to do it for this Hashtag Friday Sews. Like I said, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Catch me up on your sewing week. What do you have planned? Did you experience that eclipse? Were you in a path of totality? I would love to know what you experienced. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. our girls. Hi Lily. Lily and Bunny. Annabelle's behind the barn because she thinks she's going to get fed. And we're just waiting around. We got our spot. The sun is that way. It's getting darker out here, isn't it? It doesn't pick up very well on the video, but it's noticeably darker around our house. Kind of like a storm's coming in. Dusk with a night light. Like the evening. Don't you think? Noticeably. The like nighttime. That is so weird. Guys. I'm just gonna peek it real quick in there. It's like nighttime here. It is so weird. So weird. And Addie has woke up like way early. <laughs> it is 3.06. This supposed to last like four minutes for us.